Hi, welcome to Awake TV. So today, Sue and I are going to talk about acting as if. So acting as if is a really important manifestation method because when you act as if something is really happened at now moment and you feel it, you act it and you live it, that is one of the strong way to manifest something. So um, have I acted like that? What I'm thinking about that, <laughs> let's ask Sue, what do you think about this idea? Well, the first thought that comes to mind is give a little example. And so the best thing that I can um, give an example for is something that we do, most of us do on a regular basis is we go out to eat. Mm -hmm. um, and usually there's a tip involved, right? Mm -hmm. So I remember my days as a wait uh, staff, wait staff, and um, mm -hmm. how hard people work. And I tip as if I'm a millionaire, mm -hmm. you know, not in a sense that I mean, I tip more than the bill or anything like that. But I mean, I give really healthy tips. And I do that because for several reasons, first reason is I appreciate how hard people work. And, and, and in these times with what's going on, it's especially hard for servers, mm -hmm. um, hostesses, hosts, all of those folks, um, because, you know, they got to wear masks and they got to, they have all these requirements that made of them. So on top of everything else, they're working pretty hard. So I appreciate that I'm sending my gratitude to that person um, through energy, which is money is energy. Yeah. And then the second reason I do it is because, <clears throat> excuse me, it, I, I feel abundant when I do that. Mm. And when, when, whenever we give money, like, or we give away things or our time um, in abundance, that's what comes back to us um, is because we're in the energy of. So that's as if. So am I a millionaire? No. Do I do I act as if I'm abundant? Yes, I do. And um, have you ever noticed people that squirrel away stuff? We might call them hoarders, but I think that's a bit of an overstatement for most people. But people that just hang on to stuff because, well, maybe I could use this someday, or maybe, um, uh, maybe I'm going to regret it if I give it away or, oh, it has so much sentimental value, whatever the reason being, yeah. but there are people that just hang on to stuff, mm -hmm. hang on to stuff. I even knew somebody that used to hang on to tissues. Ew, right? <laughs> you can always get another box of tissues, but whatever. So, what that energy does by by just constantly accumulating, accumulating, but never getting rid of, you're acting as if there's going to be some kind of shortage. There's going to be some kind of crisis or as if that item you gave away or threw away or whatever you did with it, um, if you need it again, you won't be have the capacity to go get it again, right? It's It's like a it's like a poverty mentality in a way um, of thinking. And no, so a lot of people in my generation grew up with frugality. Um, you know, they, they, they didn't just willy nilly toss things away and they, they, you know, tried to take care of things. I'm not saying that that's not a good policy, but once you get to the point where you just keep accumulating, 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 you're acting as if you're going to have a crisis and you're not going to be able to handle it. Whereas if you allow flow of uh, money and objects and things of that nature, you know, this room feels a little cluttered. I'm going to give it away. And so I'm acting as if that I have the full capability of replacing those items or bringing the new into my environment. And I think the as if is the energy is what you want. That's the energy we're yeah. going for, not lack, not fear. Yeah, because when we embody like the wish actually happened, 
or like situation, let's say um, if you want to get married, as if you're already engaged. So, you know, uh, these are one with the manifestation method. I read somewhere or I heard it from someone. The lady was saying, uh, buy a engagement ring and st start wearing it as if you're already engaged. Even though you don't have any boyfriend, of course, you don't have any fiance, start doing it. And then <laughs> I heard uh, so many people start having this situation coming true, you know? Hmm. And then I'm the one with the person who is doing it too, by the way. <laughs> and then the funny thing is when you're doing it, um, your brain, even when you are not wearing your, your engagement ring, for example, uh, your brain is kind of like recognizing the ring, even though I'm not wearing it today, but my brain is still thinking I have one on my finger. Mm -hmm. Like it gets used to so much, like, and then when your brain is recognizing, okay, you're engaged. And then what I heard from that lady was um, your universe started thinking, this is odd. She is engaged, but it's not actually happening. Let's make it happen. Mm. <laughs> that was a simple explanation about the universe reaction. The mm -hmm. way you are acting as if, then you start thinking this is your um, default meta. Like me wearing my engagement ring is a default meta. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel that too. Like even though I'm not wearing it right now, I feel it. And then that becomes your everyday kind of thing. And then you are sort of, embodying that reality without even trying hard you're like a being that vibration and then when you're being that vibration you're manifesting that reality something just popped in and i want to add to what you're saying you know we've talked about this before many people talk about this but i think it's because it's the truth and we're remembering it there mm -hmm. is no time mm -hmm. so when we say as if what we're really connecting to is the energy of something that's already happened. Yeah. So even though we don't see it, it's not palpable right now, that sort of thing, by getting into that energy of it, of what it would feel like as if it's already happening, that just brings us closer and closer and probably uh speeds up the process like you said the universe kind of picks up on well there's an incongruity here their their mind and their emotions feel that this has happened you know let's because you've met that vibrational level where you're ready to have it yeah and then when you know you're engaged you you're no longer like uh um looking <laughs> I mean you're no longer looking <laughs> yeah, like you're no longer like, hey, I gotta, I gotta find this person by such a such a time. Yeah, you just know he's coming. Yeah, yeah, you know? I, I really think that's how it works. Um, we talked about this. I don't know last week or the week before, but how you and I have noticed that certain things we'll say, oh, I'd like for this. You know, I'm, I'm hoping to find these cookies, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just sort of forget about it. You're like, oh, you know, I want these. And then um, out of the blue, they just kind of show up for you when you weren't putting so much tension on yeah. like the attachment to, oh, I have to have this because that energy, as we talked about before, repels. So I think as if sort of repels our resistance to something happening, um, as if allows us to again, feel um, whatever it is we're trying to manifest, uh, you know, the abundance, the, the relationship, the uh, my move, you know, to Florida. And so, for example, um, I put my headset on today for work and I put on Bossa Nova music, which is like, you know, Caribbean type, you know, fun little, I'm not good at describing music genres, but uh, like you're out in the Caribbean type music, right? It's, it's jazzy. It's relaxing. I could hear the, the water and the birds. 
And I was acting as if I was working from Florida in my new home. Oh, good. And I felt very relaxed. I felt, you know, comfortable, warm, like, oh, having a good day, just enjoying this day. And truly, when we get into those states of mind and body and emotion, we could forget really where we are. I mean, I could have just yeah. as easily been working in Florida as I was here. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm going there soon. So um, in October, in fact, but um, it's really nice to get into that feeling because the present moment becomes um, relaxed. It becomes easy and, and present and fun yeah. and light. Do you notice the energy is lighter? Because there's a very different energy to, oh, I haven't found my house yet. I got to find the house. Well, that one didn't work out. And I really like that one. Well, oh, when's it going to happen? Is it going to be everything we want? You know, there's, that's a certain energy to, yeah. oh, I'm working, I'm in Florida. You know, I could just, I could just almost smell the water just listening yeah. to that music. Mm -hmm. It's a very different energy. It's, it's, it's light, it's airy, it's tension free, it's anxiety free, and it helps you stay in the moment. Yeah. Because Abraham Hicks is saying like, only you have to do is like focus on 17 seconds. But what if you act as if 24 seven every day, you know, that's a yeah. huge, huge way to manifest something without even using any kind of extra energy because you're being it. Yeah. And then if something, you know, say you're acting as if, and then something comes up that you have to deal with, it kind of pulls you into, okay, this is the current manifestation. So what? Deal with it. You're still staying in the moment. Yeah. You're not lying to anybody. You're just yeah. kind of, you know, when you get pulled out of your little, you know, whatever your as if scenario is, and it, it may not be little, it may be very big. So some people would say, well, that's just using your imagination guess what? That's what creates the magic, our imagination. When we stop imagining the best for ourselves, we stop creating. I mean, we are creator beings. So, I mean, if you say to yourself, as if is lying to yourself, or if I'm in my imaginary own little world, so what? Who am I hurting? I'm still doing my job. I'm still, you're still going to the store and getting your groceries. You got a ring on your finger and you feel as if you are engaged. Who, who are you hurting? Nobody. Yeah. yeah. And then and, when you are using your whole sentence, sen senses, like your visual, your uh, auditory, your sensory, when you use all five senses, it's going to be a lot more um, real to manifest than just, just the imagining head. Mm -hmm. You know, like what doing as if is you are doing this like more like a virtual reality without having all this machine mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. the feeling it and that's a lot of the strongest way to manifest something yeah even like without even trying hard because you're being it and then you start believing it more and more you do it because every day you are like being by default, having that as your benchmark, your regular way of vibrating. Yeah, and as you've pointed out in the past, the more we vibrate that way, the universe has no other choice. It has to match it, which yeah. means, boom, that's how you have it. Yeah, because that's how we shift from one timeline to another timeline. It's not like we're creating anything out of nowhere. We are simply <laughs> shifting the timeline which is equivalent to how you're vibrating yeah yeah so any last tips for our listeners or viewers um, of this as if meta yeah i mean if you can watch a movie and you can get into the characters lives or their situation or you can really relate to their state of being or what their state of mind is, you can easily do as if for your own life. Oh, yes. And you know, going back to like a childhood, 
you know how we used to become princess and we really believe that we are princess or going to the adventure to uh, fight off with all these monsters with sword. <laughs> You know, like we did that and all castles and everything. And we really lived in that imagination and never second thought about, oh, it doesn't exist. Just had fun doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So try, I'm not even saying that trying to try to find the time to do it, just do it. (laughs) I agree. That's a great way to manifest things really fast. Sure. And if you've got time to worry, you've got time to use your imagination, drop the worry, pick up the imagination, be like a kid again. Yeah. Being a kid is a a fast way to go to heaven. I think that's what Bible said. And that is absolutely true message because when you're a kid, you're unstoppable. You can manifest anything because my power to imagine everything. Kids knows how to do that. 100%. I agree. All righty. So thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe. And we see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.